Well, hey there, Scott, your Hoosier Marshall, back for another video, my second one of the day. Today, it's too hot to be outside doing much of anything. Mrs. Marshall is at work, and I'm going to cook dinner, so I thought, what the hell, I might as well make a video about it. Uh, I don't want to cook on the grill or the Blackstone be outside in this heat, so I thought, uh, what the hell, we have a couple large bags of chicken drumsticks that were gifted to us. So I'll use them to make chicken and noodle soup. Normally I like to use the bone-in chicken breast as the meat for the chicken noodle soup, but this was free and it doesn't much matter. Um, it'll turn out really well. All right, here's the first step in it. There's the drumsticks in the pot. I'll fill the pot with water and let it boil. So the, the, the chicken bone and skin and meat can make a really nice broth as the start of the chicken noodle soup. Before we boil it, I'll add in some pepper. Some salt. Some celery salt. I'll be careful with this. There's like three different kinds of salts I have here, so you don't want to add too much of any of them or it'll turn out too salty. Garlic salt. Now we let it boil. I'll bring you back for the next step. You can see it's boiling away pretty good. All that. Chicken meat is cooking and all the skin and the bone and the fat is blending with that water to make a really tasty chicken stock. Okay, that part is done. It's time to get the chicken legs out of the bath, out of the broth. Turn the heat down. The next step will be to uh, add my vegetables and uh, some chicken broth into this while I pick the meat off of the bones. I always like to add chicken broth to it because that stock you have there really, by the time you add your vegetables and let them cook, and then you add the noodles and let them cook and then introduce the meat back into them. It'll soak up all that stock that you had in there and it won't be enough liquid for a, for a nice soup. So there's that. If you want to get fancy, turn the heat back up a little bit. If you want to get fancy, you can buy fresh vegetables and cut them all up. I just buy frozen vegetables. Put them in there, let them boil while the meat is cooling down enough that I can pick it off of the bone. All right, so I'm going to pick this meat off of this bone. Like I said, bone in chicken breast, I think, is a little better. There's a little more meat on them, but I do like dark meat chicken, I think it has more flavor. And there's, there's plenty of meat on these drumsticks. Anytime we do this, I have to be the one to cook it and especially pick the meat off of the bone because Mrs. Marshall cannot stand to pick meat off of bone. For some reason, she finds that incredibly disgusting. So I do it. And it's still hot. I'll go ahead and finish this up and bring you back. Okay, I have the chicken picked off of the bone. The vegetables have been in that stock. Boiling, softening up. So now I just add my noodles, let them cook for about 10 minutes. I can add my meat back in. 
if I don't knock you over. Good save on my part. And uh, we'll have chicken noodle soup. And my noodles are just about done. I'm going to go ahead and put the meat back in. Give her a stir. Let it all finish up in the same pot. And all those flavors mix back together again. And the one thing I can say, if you want good chicken noodle soup, buy good egg noodles. Don't buy cheap noodles because they're a large part of the flavor of your soup. And there it is, all done, ready to eat. Just like Grandma used to make. Well, I tell you what, my wife thinks that my YouTube videos are stupid. But if me cooking dinner is a reason to make a YouTube video, then she's all for it. All right. That's enough of this episode of What's for Dinner at the Hoosier Marshall House. Until my next video, this is Sky Hoosier Marshall saying make sure you always take the time to tell those you love what they truly mean to you because you never know when it just might be too late. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you.